through Zafak. But now we see a Russian training center in Managua recently sanctioned, actually yesterday, uh, the Nicaraguan army actually advocating for an increasing presence of China and Russia within the Central American uh, 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 Confederation of Armies, the FAC. I'd like to hear your opinion on how the U.S. and their allies should address Russian and Chinese interference in Central America through the Nicaraguan army in particular. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Thank you. Yeah, so I think the, um, you're rightly so uh, concerned about that. And that concerns me too, is when you have you know partnerships that develop. I think the malign activity just attracts more malign activity, right? And it becomes a safe haven for uh, additional malign activity or criminal organizations and those sorts of things to be able to flourish and be able to operate out of. And so, um, as, a, as a hemisphere, how do we address that, right? Because I think it has to be addressed. Um, it has to be addressed as a problem that affects the region, not just how it uh, you know, uh, impacts the United States or something like that, right? And I think as partners, we have to come together. We have to alter, offer an alternative, too. What is, a, what is a way that we can offer something better than what the Russians are offering uh, Nicaragua? Right, and so um, the uh, very concerning. I don't like it. Uh, more malign activity just uh, again attracts more malign activity and makes it harder for the region to prosper. And so um, it's a cancer, and the cancer spreads. And so the uh, we have to, but again, we have to be there, and we have to we have to come up with alternatives for that. Thank you. Thank you, General. Um,